Hey guys, first problem, we have vector with three wires and we are supposed to split it into these outputs. So let's do this. Assign out v equals vec. Then we have assign. So that's this wire. And then we have three more outputs and they will just have one wire from the input. So one equals like one sign zero equals like zero and finally assign output two equals like two success let's continue Next problem, build a combinational circuit that splits an input half word, 16 bits, into lower and upper bits. So we have inputs that is 16 bit long, and we are supposed to split it into higher and lower part. So out high equals sign out high equals in, and this is going to be 15 to eight and then assign out low and that's gonna be input seven to zero next a 32 bit vector can be viewed as containing four bytes build a circuit that will reverse the byte ordering of the four byte word so if we have word like this we are supposed to um, we are supposed to reverse the order so first d then c then b and then a so assign out 31 to 24 is equal to in 7 to 0 assign out 23 to 16 is in 15 to 8 assign out assign out 15 to 8 is equal to in i have a typo here assign in 23 to 16 and finally assign out 7 to 0 is in 31 to 31 to 24. So we have reversed the order. Success, let's continue. Next, build a circuit that has two 3-bit inputs that computes the bitwise OR of the two vectors, the logic OR of the two vectors, and the inverse NOT of both vectors. Place the inverse of B in the upper half and the inverse of A in the lower half. So we can see the diagram here. We have bitwise OR, logic OR, and NOT inverse. And logic will output just one one uh, bit binary. Bitwise will output a three bit binary. Let's do this. Out or bitwise is gonna be equal to a or b. Out and of course assign again. Assign. Assign out or logical is gonna be equal to a or b so this is bitwise or and this is logical or logical or outputs true or false and this will do or between all of the bits assign out not equals and we have b B is in the upper half, so from 5 to 3, 5 to 3, and one more, 
this is going to be a and it's going to be from zero from two to zero and it's going to be of course not success let's continue build a combination circuit with four inputs there are three outputs out and out or and out xor so what we want to do is we want to end all the bits in the input then or them and then XOR them. So let's do this. Out assign out end equals in three end. Let's copy this. Zero, one, and two. This is gonna be out or out XOR. So we just change the operators. This to OR. Success. Next problem, we have these six 5-bit inputs and we want to assign them to these four 8-bit outputs and of course these 5-bit inputs will not give us 32 bits for the 32-bit uh, output so we have to assign also two 1-bits. Let's do this. Assign. We will use this notation to combine them to a vector and we will say w, x, y and y and z is equal to and here we will have a b c d e f plus our two bit vector two bit binary and success let's continue given an 8 bit input vector reverse its bit ordering so we want to reverse the input on the output so we will do assign out equals and we can just do in 0 to 7 this is not legal syntax in Verilog so what we have to do is we have to combine uh, the reverse bits of the input vector so what we will do is in 0 and then we have to copy this eight more times Like this and we have to say one two six and seven submit next one build a circuit that sign extends an 8-bit number to 32 bits so we have to copy the most significant bit 24 times assign out equals and here we have to copy the most significant bit. So we will do 24 times and 24 times in seven. This is the most significant bit. And then we have just the rest of our input like this. Success, let's continue. And the last one, given five one-bit signals, compute all 25 pairwise one-bit comparisons in the 25-bit output vector. We have five uh, one-bit inputs and we want to compute XNOR for, for all combinations. So what we do is we will create these two vectors and we will do XNOR between all of the elements. We will use this code and here we will create our first vector and here our second vector. So first we will create five times each of the inputs. So we say five A, five A, and we will copy this, five B, five C, 5D and 5E 
and now we will create this one. So that's five times each of the inputs. So that will be five times A, B, C, D, E. So we have A, B, C, D, E here, this vector. And in this, we have this vector. And we will do XNOR between all of the elements. And it's successful. So that's all for vectors. And next time we will look at modules and a hierarchy. Thanks for watching. Bye.